Hi, Boing Boing Readers, how you doing? Um, this may be an act of wild optimism for me to even think that anybody's going to be interested in this, but I find it interesting, so um, I'm going to go ahead and show you uh, something here anyway. Um, one of the things to realize is that we live in a very, very special age where we're really spoiled by certain things, uh, especially things like display technologies. The screen on your iPhone, for example, is really, really nice. Um, we're surrounded by all kinds of really easy, really high quality ways of displaying images and pictures and numbers, and I think it's worth remembering that this wasn't always the case. For example, back in the 50s, they used these things called Nixie tubes, which I'm sure most of you are also very aware of, uh, which was basically a vacuum tube with the numbers 0 through 9 in it and a little metal that would light up and glow when current was applied through it, and so you could have this as a way to display numerical information. It was uh, a very clever solution, but it took a lot of power, and these things were expensive, so people were always trying to figure out ways to do it another way. Um, now, later, eventually, we started using these standard seven-segment LED or vacuum fluorescent kind of displays. Uh, these became very popular starting in the 70s and up, uh, and it was a great way to display numbers and digits, and of course, we still use these an awful lot today. But there was a large period there where there wasn't really a good, cheap way to display in like a small, single area numbers or pictures or a little information message. Sometimes you could have a light bulb behind a panel that would light up something, but you'd have a whole row of these. Uh, so what I'm going to show you today was one of the solutions that was come out with for uh, this problem. And this is a solution where there's not a whole lot of information about it online, so I think it makes sense to show you. And these are things called one-plane displays. My friend Tom Jennings gave me uh, a bunch of these. He was cleaning out his shed and had a bunch. I'd never seen them before, and I thought they were really, really fascinating. Now, the way it works is at one end there's a screen, and at the other end there's an array of uh, light bulbs. It's a very s simple kind of idea. They, the machine that wants to send a piece of information lights up a particular light bulb. That light bulb shines through a little tiny film or like a scrim and displays in the screen. And I'll show you what these things look like. So this one actually came out of an old slot machine. So you see we got plums and watermelon and bells and lemons, all the usual slot machine fare there. Although this one actually also has something, a tree. I don't ever recall seeing a tree in a slot machine, or maybe it's broccoli or a mushroom cloud. I don't know, but it looks like a little tree. Uh, but anyway, you'll notice the image quality is actually really nice in this thing. It's a, got a slight soft focus kind of quality to it. Um, the images are hand have like a nice hand drawn kind of feel. You could really display almost anything, any number of colors. So these were actually really elegant little devices, and they all displayed in the same area. So you didn't need like a whole board with a bunch of separate lights, and they could display and change their images really fast, like you'd want in a slot machine or something that displayed numerical data. So these are a really nice solution. These one plane displays, but of course they're totally dead, totally obsolete technology, and of course they're really hard to find and find out any information about. But they're, you know, very, very interesting and very nice. And there's, uh, this is, they came in all different types. Like this was a, a larger unit. And this one, you can really see the array of light bulbs that was used and the holes there that they shine through. And since I don't have this one hooked up to a power source, I can synthesize it with this little light. So you can see how nice these images are. Look at that nice five. That's like a nice sans serif Futura five, and a six, and a nice eight. I mean, these numbers are beautiful. And this whole display thing has a look and a feel that's just kind of gone now. You don't really see anything that produces images quite like this anymore. I'm thinking about turning this one into the speedometer for my old 73 bug. I thought that might be kind of a nice period tech accessory for it. Um, but yeah, so these are uh, one plane displays. And like I said, they're hard to find out other information about online. If anybody knows anything about them or wants to know anything about them, uh, feel free to, to contact me. And um, hopefully you found that mildly interesting. All right. Thanks, everybody.